I'm Ben, I'm from Australia, I live in the beautiful city Medellin, Colombia and today I'm taking you to Miami, Florida, USA to show you seven of the best attractions the city has to offer including Miami Beach, the Everglades National Park and stick around to the end of the video to see the coolest aquarium and science museum I have ever seen. All of that coming up. Okay, so I'm at Medellin Airport waiting for my flight, which leaves in approximately two hours. Um, I'm so excited, I actually feel like a little kid. <laughs> I, I don't usually get so excited, but this is my first time to the US and it's one of those places you, you dream about going your whole life. So I'm so excited. I just can't wait to get to the beach. I can't wait to, to go out and do some shopping, um, experience some of the museums, uh, some of the, the cultural side of the city. And also, of course, uh, the beach, Miami Beach, which is going to be incredible. The perfect gift from my beautiful city, Medellin Rum. Ron de Medellin. come to Miami, one of your very first stops should be the world famous Miami Beach, located right next to the historic Art Deco district. Whilst exploring their Art Deco district, I dropped in for a little welcome cocktail. Or maybe two. Or three. And I met this cute little creature, a chameleon. Let him crawl on you, let him crawl on you. He's chilling, he's chilling. Look at him, he's chilling. Look at him, he's chilling. Are you gonna fall? <laughs> no, no, no. two cocktails I'm feeling happy and I'm ready to go swimming at the beach <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious finally I can go swimming at Miami Beach after having two very very large cocktails this is going to be fun
Just a one hour drive from Miami Beach is one of the USA's biggest wetland areas, famous for its alligators, the Everglades National Park. from an alligator take a bite out of life <laughs> <laughs> good advice <laughs> Despite my best efforts to see an alligator, the weather conditions didn't allow me much time before it started raining. However, seeing alligators or not, it's well worth visiting the Everglades even just to spend the day exploring this fascinating area. Today I'm on. I'm planning to go to a place called Bayside Marketplace because I came during a hurricane, and this is one day after Hurricane Ita, and there has been quite a bit of uh, destruction. Nothing too serious, but because of that, many of the museums and attractions are closed today, reopening hopefully tomorrow morning. So this is an unscheduled stop uh, at a place I just found on a map. And this is called South Point Park, which looks really, really nice. So I'm like, hey, let's, uh, let's go to South Point Park. Downtown Miami and its amazing buildings and architecture, another essential stop on your Florida journey.
While in the downtown area, check out the Bayside Marketplace for some great souvenir shopping. $8 a little more a little expensive but for two scoops but as you can tell I'm really not enjoying it <laughs> I absolutely love it I'd love to eat like another 10 flavors to be honest god it's it's terrible And my last stop was the incredible Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science, which has one of the most awesome aquariums I've ever seen. This huge complex houses not only this amazing aquarium, but a fun and educational science museum as well. A fascinating place to visit for the whole family.
so my five day trip is over so quickly it felt like two days back to Miami airport and uh, waiting for my flight and feeling the end of vacation end of holiday blues but what an awesome trip I love Miami and I will definitely be back and you should definitely come here what an awesome city don't come during a hurricane though no, that wasn't my best decision <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video please leave me a comment and let me know what other places you'd like me to visit give this video a thumbs up of course and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you see you in the next video